the candy shop. So, um, back in 1956, the original owners of the store had a, um, an orchard here. Um, over the years, there's been multiple owners, and I now own it by myself. When did your business start? I started March of 2011. Was it originally a candy shop, or...? It's always been a candy store, from my understanding. Um, started back in 1956. Have you ever wanted to do something different with a candy store? Nope. No, nope. it's a candy store. You keep your traditions alive. I wanted my own business in retail. Having a kitchen was just a perk, because that was my hobby of baking. <laughs> Do you uh, hand make it all, or is it machine made? We actually, it's a combination of, because there is the commercial products such as your Nestle and your Mars bars that are brought in, and then I do things by hand such as like pumpkin rolls, um, mixing my fudge, and then the machines that I use is like a KitchenAid, and that's what I use to make larger batches of frostings and breads, sweet breads. Why did you decide to choose this store instead of another store? This opportunity came my way and I was young, I was 25 years old and it was the option of going through that door and experiencing what we could make it and, and um, fulfill the candy store tradition or try something out and have the even more of an uncertainty to get the clientele. Your turn, you need to ask questions, woman. <laughs> yeah. What are your hands' favorite candies? Like fudge, cheesecake, and brittle. What are your favorite things to make? To make the fudge, because I um, my, reminds me of my grandmother. That's what I used to make with her when I was growing up. And then um, the cheesecakes, because I love cutting them and eating the cheesecake off the knife. <laughs> Are those homemade recipes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Family recipes? Family recipes would be my brittle and fudge. Um, and then our, the cheesecake is a friend's recipe that she allowed me to have. Who was the founder of this candy shop? His name was Paul Anholt. And he was a silent film actor. And he, um, he and his partners had purchased this property back in the early 50s and then built the candy store in 56. What is the busiest time of year slash week slash day? Um, well, you never know. As an example, today is Monday and Mondays are usually a slow day, but I've been very active today. Um, sometimes we have a great week and a poor weekend and vice versa. It's nothing that I can bet on. <laughs> But typically, of course, summer because and um, holidays because people have more time to come out and enjoy each other's company. Are your customers usually tourists or locals? It's a variety, but I would say that the local areas such as the Orange County all the way up to Anaheim and then like Riverside counties from anywhere from Fallbrook up to Riverside that come out and go hiking and rock climbing. So do hiking the hiking trails over here bring in more customers? Oh yeah, because it's also a good um, incentive for like young hikers to do well on the trail without complaining and have a sweet treat afterwards. Do you run this store by yourself? I do for the most part. I do mm -hmm. have an employee that helps me out um, during the weekends, so that way I have a little time to go home. <laughs> Otherwise, it's seventy hours a week. Have there been any wildfires around the store? We have had, haven't had a wildfire in quite some time. Um, there, back in August of 2013, there was a wildfire that started um, just about a mile southeast of here. And uh, fortunately, it went into the eastward direction. If the winds had shifted and come westward, the candy store would have probably been jeopardized. But it's been withstood through approximately, I haven't done my research, but I'm say about like five wildfires in this area. Are you prepared for a wildfire attack? As much as we can be. Um, it's one of those things you just prevent the overgrowth of shrubs and create um, a fire break. And what a fire break is, is distance from a structure to any fuel of dry brush, trees, and just create a nice little barrier. What are some things that you make? 
Well, I make about 60 different products in-house. Um, as an example, we do 20 types of fudge, 4 brittles, 4 cheesecakes, 7 granola bars, cookies, um, pecan bark, rocky road bark, peppermint candies, peanut butter cups that are jumbo peanut butter cups, just to name a few. I can keep going, but there's always something I miss. How long has the candy shop been open? It has just celebrated its 60th year, and I have been here for five of those 60 years. What do you guys think?